Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Under here back with, as always, another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the exceptional Lost at Sea. Now this was developed by Studio Fizzbin, published by Head Up Games and is available for $12.49. So basically we begin on a boat and end up stranded on a mysteriously lonely island, hey, where we have to solve riddles, explore memories and actually figure out what in the itty bitty titty committee is going on. But the story is well beautifully written and it's a nice short and easy game for the Achievement Hunters too. As for achievements, nothing is actually really missable. Uh, we have to collect quite a few items by doing puzzles, placing them in the right place and that is what unlocks the achievements. There are no actual collectibles you need to worry about or anything so it's a pretty straightforward list. And so, with that being said then, let us begin. And this first part then is basically going to be, it, it's basically like a long cutscene uh, with a couple of things that we've got to do, so enjoy the calming waters and, you know, the ignore the dead body floating over there, that, that's nothing, that's cool, <laughs> that's cool, don't, don't ask how I ended up on this dinghy, okay thanks. And so, this is the main premise of the game then, so we've got this compass that we can open by pressing the Y button, and... With every item that we actually need to look for, the compass points in the north direction. Or, you know, whatever the hell that it is. So they, they, that is basically what you need to follow, what you need to find. Uh, but we'll come to that in just a little bit now. What we're going to see then is all this um, kind of black branches, all kinds of crap happening. And this is the kind of enemy of the game. Um... He's kind of like Sauron, but if you ordered him from Wish instead of Amazon, you know, that kind. And you'll see why now. Um, so don't poop your pants too much. Not yet. So every time that this blue eye or purple eye, it's an eye, that'll do. Every time he appears, all you need to do to get it to disappear is just stare at it. Obviously, we've got no weapons to fight it with or anything, so throughout the game, you'll see a little bit of dialogue at the bottom. It'll say, like, where are you, or where were we, or some some other bull. And basically, this eye's going to come in a random direction, so you've just got to quickly turn around and stare him out. Yeah, wishless Sauron, up yours! So that's basically it. That's basically it in terms of enemies. Um, if you do die, you basically just end up going back to the starting point that we're coming up to in just a little bit. So just enjoy the scenery for the moment. Hmm, delicious. But you can't enjoy it for too long. So if you press the X button there to interact with that, it tells you that we need a blanket or a towel or whatever that is. So pick it up and then put it on the sail then using again the X button. And then we can just sail away, sail away with me. Lost at sea! See, now, they might as well have just called this game Stranded on an Island, but it doesn't really have the same flow as Lost at Sea, really, does it? Um, so when we wake up here anyway, after uh, quite a very underwhelming boat ride onto the island, you should unlock your first achievement, and that is basically just for getting on the island. So again, press the Y button every time to whip your canvas out, and just keep heading forward for the time being. And we're going to see like this kind of um, weird play area if you want. Kind of looks like a child's soft play area. And it's so much goddamn fun. But it's not. So what we need to do. Head past this little book here. Alice in whatever the hell that is. And press the X button. Now this will come up onto your compass as an item that we need to find. So if you head left and then head up this big giant dustpan and brush. Or whatever the hell that is. Again, press the same thing then, press the X button and that will come up with another item that we need to find. So head down, go past old uh, Big Ball Giraffe Neck right there, 
or just a regular giraffe, whatever. And then head to the right here as we get up to the steps, and this is an obvious teddy bear. But press the X button again, and you'll know you've done it right when you've got the bit of dialogue there in the top right hand corner. Down a little bit to this table, and that is it. There's basically a couple of areas with four items in there, and then we need to explore this little island to find said items. So, we're just going to head out now. That big towery looking thing, that is where the uh, Sauron from Wish, and not from Amazon, resides. So, yeah. <laughs> There's no point going up there, but if we just keep heading forward, we're gonna see this trampoline now What we need to do is basically we need to collect these four um, Asterisks or these four stars. We'll just call them because it's a lot easier And then what that will do is actually when you a, a lot of the time we will need to do certain little puzzles like collect these stars or Do something whatever and then after the puzzles done You will then get the item that you so wish so after you collect all four, the trampoline will disappear, and as you can see, it's right there. So press the X button when you're, when you're on it, and that is our first item, Collectedible. So, happy days then. So we can just keep walking forward. As you can see, just a beach on the left-hand side. Quite a few times in this game, you're going to have to sort of rely on, um, when you're looking at the screen, uh, rely on the environment, because at certain points it can get slightly confusing, but I will try my best to help you guys along. Otherwise, what a crappy walkthrough and achievement guide this would be, huh? So we're just going to keep heading forward for the time being, and then we're just going to go through the trees, and we are heading towards an old abandoned house. Now, now living on a, a mysterious island in a house is a lot of people's luxury. Unless, of course, there's a wishlist Sauron, you know, trying to track you down all the time, then I guess it would get pretty annoying. But ev for everyone who hates people, this is... They, this is your kind of game, and I'm happy to commentate on it. So we're just heading sort of slightly to the right, just in between these big rocks here, and this is where the tree is. Now, we're going to see, as soon as this dialogue appears then, where were you? Um, he basically starts turning around. You'll be able to tell where he's coming from, uh, from your screen, uh, whether he's... You can just tell from the certain direction that he's coming from, so obviously for me, and it should be for you as well, uh, he should be coming from behind you. Um, <laughs> you know, he can obviously not kill you, but he can knock you out. It can just be a minor slight inconvenience. So when we're here then, go uh, next to this table, right in front of the front door, next to the gorgeous looking cars, except I don't know where the hell you're meant to be driving to. Press the X button then, we need to find a pot lid. Then if we head to the right, on this table, right next to the window, there is a magazine or a book. It's probably something not that we want to read, so let's just ignore that. Go to the left, underneath the basketball court, it's like a petrol can or something. And if we just head past these cars... Whoa! Whoa, what happened to you, buddy? God damn, you had a nice drink last night or something? Anyway, past <laughs> down this sort of little alleyway, if you want to call it that, and this is where the fourth item is. So like I said, there's always four items in each new area that we need to find. So we're going to head underneath this rock, outside of the back of the house and we're just gonna nip past these rocks and this is our first puzzle very simple puzzles you know easy enough what you have to do is fight everyone no what you have to do if you you can press the B button to crouch if you so wish as I do but basically a radio is going to start playing as soon as you uh, as soon as you interact with the middle one there so the radio starts playing it's like musical chairs so as soon as the radio stops press the X button on the chair so as soon as the radio stops and it buggers off now press the X button and then what'll happen then a bunch of party hats will just pop around and appear and we are going to be doing this then for the next couple of minutes so just go to any chair literally doesn't matter which one but you see it going should have been playing some slipknot or something <coughs> that would have that would have been musical chairs slash violence. <laughs> but that would have been hilarious. And I'm all up for a cheeky musical mate. A musical chair mosh pit. There we go. Let's make that a thing, shall we? So, again, just keep doing the same thing then. As soon as the music stops, radio's gone. Immediately press the X button. And just keep doing it until all the chairs are gone. And we get our item. Which is a birthday present. Birthday present for me. Oh, it's a pair of socks. Thank you. You shouldn't have.
Musical chairs is over. Get the hell out of my party. Anyway, we've got the present. We've got our socks. Thank you so much once again for the socks. That is just... Yeah, that's what every little boy wants, huh? Goddamn socks. Anyway, what we're going to do then is just sort of uh, turn around and then head back up the hill on the left-hand side. We're going to go in between these two bosom rocks, we'll call them. And then sort of keep hugging the left-hand side rock there, just in between these trees. And again, like I said, all we're doing then is following the compass. So when it points north, obviously that mean, that basically means that you are going in the right direction. But of course, sometimes you have to go past these rocks or past, you know, past over a few obstacles. And especially Wishless Sauron, who is just... He just does your absolute noggin in. Your nipples just bleed with anticipation and disgust at Sauron coming towards us there. Kind of got lucky with that one there, that he got caught in a tree though, so I'm HP with that. So again, we're just sort of uh, sort of hugging the left hand side of these rocks here, just st uh, standing on top and eventually then we are going to be seeing the balloon of life. Kind of looks like a Lion King theme right here. The circle of life. Etc. Etc. Anyway, just head down. We're on to the sandy beaches of deliciousness. And what we're going to do then is just keep walking forward here. And then we are soon going to be taking a left to get to Banana Rama Balloon Rama. Oh, God damn it. Would you be deaf, man? Where were you? Well, I wish you weren't here right now. You're the worst Sauron in the world. Go away. Don't let it pop. Ah, we finally made it then. So just pop all of the balloons again, pressing the X button. By the way, uh, complete apologies. I forgot to say that if you click the left stick in once, that is how you sprint. I was literally meant to tell you within the first two minutes, and I completely forgot. So please, please don't hate me. Please love me still. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, you know. Okay then. So we've only got one more item to find. For the particular area. Now, by the way, if you want to change the items for a particular area, um, you've got to press the right bumper button. Uh, but we are actually coming up to a new area now. So if we went straight from the balloon, uh, just between all these rocks and trees, you can see a new item for us to um, inquire about. Then turn behind you and just head up these logs right now. And there's going to be another item as well. It kind of looks like... <laughs> Kind of looks like a scene from a, a serial killer program, you know? One of those uh, ITV, BBC police dramas. I like them. Anyway, we're going to head down, head to the left, and there's going to be a picnic table for us. So again, click the X button. We're going to need to find the table a cloth. And we just got one more to stick in our compass. So I don't know what you were thinking about then. We need to stick it in our compass completely dry, so just go... <laughs> Underneath the bus arch, if you will, there, and it is a yogurt lid or some kind of lid. So, like I said, like I was just saying, for every new area, if you press the right bumper, that is how you can see what items you need for that particular area, if that makes sense. So, anyway, we're just going to head straight, straight through the trees right here. Again, there's only the sort of one bunch of trees, so should be golden nuggets at the minute. And as you can see, just off into the distance, we need to be doing a little bit of climbing. So with the stars slash asterisks slash mana, we want on one hell of a trip. What the hell are those doing in the sky? Um, they, we basically have to uh, collect one and then we have to keep climbing up the stairs until all four are collected. So just head up, head up the stairs. Oh, I seem to be stuck on nothing. And if we just jump down here, that is where the first one is is that's the first one collected now if you just turn around as you can see so just collect the three obviously they are they are higher up so just nip up fall off and then have a big old party party
So yeah, as I said then, it wasn't four that we're collecting, it was only like three, so, you know, close enough, I didn't lie to you. So press X of course to collect the shorts, ooh, they smell a bit whiffy, I think they've been there a while. Oh look, it's got a, uh, it's got a pube in it, ah, ah, come on. Anyway, ignore the puby shorts for now, we're just going to head behind us, and as we can see now, we are now going for the table of cloth. Now, a lot of the times, I'll actually be collecting different items to what's actually on the compass. So, literally, just completely follow where I go. Um, ah, God damn it, you're such a minor inconvenience. So, again, it's mainly sort of where it is the darkest is where he's coming from there. So, you'll be looking the wrong way then if it's more towards the light, if you get what I mean. So... Anyway, hopefully you should know how to deal with uh, crappy Sauron by now. So from here, we're just going to head sort of left by the buses. Again, apologies. It, it can get... It, it did get slightly confusing. Only slightly. So we're just heading past the picnic table. A picnic basket. Heading up the hill. Uh, what you need to do then is see this light-coloured rock just in front of us. Sort of hug the right-hand side of that then. So just keep hugging this rock. Past all the trees, and we're going to see this one darker coloured rock right in the middle there. And that is what we need to do. Again, the puzzle is quite simple. All we need to do is look up into the night sky, beautiful as hell, and just keep staring at all four big, chunky, right head stars. Just until they all flash and disappear. And our, well, our drug-addled ways continue there, because everything's just gone from night to dark. So, there we go then, now we can collect that, and then from here, this bit again can be slightly confusing, but if you just turn around, sort of 180 degrees-ish, um, you can just see these trees which sort of open up a gap in the distance, um, so it can be, again, it can be slightly um, confusing now and again, but hopefully you are keeping up with me well. So we've explored another new area, and, and literally this is it for the sort of first half of the game. The last 20 minutes or so is literally placing the items and watching long cutscenes. So, literally we're doing a bit of gameplay for about 40 minutes, I expect. So, collect the two items here then. And there's just going to be another two. One on here, and a, a nice wheelchair. Oh god, there's another pube on this wheelchair. Who's leaving pubes on things? Could you, could you just wipe them clean before we pick them up? Yuck. Hmm. I taste it in my mouth now, that's... Anyway, there we go, so we've got all the four items. So if you turn around directly from where the bed, I want to call it, is, we see this little gap in the rocks. And then what we can do, again, just keep hugging this left-hand side rock for the time being. And again, like I said, this is where it gets confusing. Now we've got so many items to look for, but if we just head straight across the old river right now... Uh, but this is what we're actually after. It's like a pot lid, lid pot. And then sort of head up to the highest point of this hill. And then just keep going straight. Now what we're going to see is a bunch of pebbles on the ground. Remember if you want to look for an item that is in a different location, yeah, press the right bumper to get that particular one up. So, what we need to do, press the A button on the pebbles. Now we basically need to sneak over to the star over there. So, turn sideways and start slowly heading to the left. Now you're going to see these footprints, but don't go too fast and don't let them touch you. If you do that, the base, basically the puzzle resets. So don't go too far away, just keep sneaking towards the left very slowly. Don't let it touch you until you see the star, and that is what you can do to collect that. Bam! Good job! And that is where the item is, so we've now got the part roast lid now. Oh, I guess the charge of part roast now. So we basically head to the right and just up this hill, uh, basically just keep going straight from here, basically, 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 I think I said basically about 28,000 times already, but basically, <laughs> oh, just keep heading straight there and what we're going to do is see a bench, interact with said bench, and that's what gets us the next item now. This is your new home now, baby.
It's a beautiful day. It's actually a nice island, I'll give it that. With no one about and you end up losing your head and wishlist Sauron is coming at you. Not wishlist, just <laughs> the wish style Sauron. Anyway, let's grab that next item then and merrily go on our way. So we're going to head to the left, uh, just towards Sauron from Wish's Tower. Jump down, and then what we're basically going to do is just head left again through this water. Now, this bit of water is fine because it's nice and shallow, but the actual water, um, a bit further down on the beach, a lot deeper, we are not going through that because we end up dying, and it puts us in a random location, which gets it freaking confusing. So anyway, through the water, up here, and then what we need to do for this puzzle then is literally just keep the boxes floating in the air. So about uh, six, I think, are going to appear. So as soon as you see one starting to fall down, just press the X button on it, and then that should knock it back up. Obviously, the, uh, make sure the reticle is white on the box, otherwise it's just not going to work, because that's how video games work. I hope you knew that already, because I didn't. So anyway, yeah, as soon as you see any boxes fall in, whap them up, stick your head in it, son. Job done. We are once again deliciously done. So, pick up the alarm clock. Ring, ring. I hate alarm clocks. They make you wake up in the morning for work. And that's why alarm clocks should be banned. Anyway, from there, we're just going to head basically straight over. As you can see, we can see out the first area in the background there. So, that basically means we are on the right path for the time being. And, uh, yeah, this, this compass can goddamn get confusing. Obviously, the light ones are already connected. And, obviously, the ones that are not lit up there are not. So, here we go, then. Sauron from uh, Wish trying to make his presence known again. But, you know, he's a turd. But, <laughs> we are going from where he came. From whence he came. Because we are looking at this sort of scaffolding. Or a bit of parkour. A bit of... If you want to do like a cheap Assassin's Creed style stuff, then <laughs> now's the time, honey. I mean, it's not really the time, because if you want to do a leap of faith, you're going to die. I hope that I left it in. No, I don't think it did. I, I actually uh, fell off from a nice height. And I didn't die, but, you know, I sort of lay there for a minute like, why did I just try a leap of faith when there's nothing to do? So head around sort of the left-hand side there. That is just what we're going for. Um... The, the controls can be kind of tetchy, a bit etch -a sketchy so that's why I was just taking my time being slow there. But it's only the one that we need to collect. As soon as we've done that, press the X button, and that's the plaster, or if you're from America, band-aid. Or if you're from somewhere else, I don't know. I assume plaster. Anyway, basically just head down straight from the scaffold in there, head down. Be careful not to go too close to the water here. Do not go too close. Um, basically, just keep walking, hugging this um, rock right here. As soon as you've seen all the, the black things that were happening then. Um, yeah, basically means, holy crap, I'm shit myself. I think that I'm Jason Voorhees being scared of water and stuff. So, to summarize, instead of, yap <laughs> instead of yammering, don't go in that part of the water there. I'll tell you which part of the water is fine. So we're just going to, what we're actually going to do now is um, get four achievements for us. And like I said, we've got all the collectibles for this area now. So uh, we can now get the achievement related to every item that we found. So first of all, let's put the present on the table. And then what's going to happen here then, a long cutscene is going to happen. But maybe 30 seconds to a minute or so. So, 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 enjoy the so, so. But we'd waited so long. When I finally gave birth, the relief. Danny, this is where he died. But it looks... Next! 
Next, as soon as we can move, turn to the left slightly, up the book here, and then turn to the left again. We're going to see the bit. Bam. Welcome to another cutscene. Again, this story is excellently written, to be fair. It's very sad and emotional, and I do actually feel for this, uh, for this lady, Anna. And then you're telling him off for something. And you hear your own parents talking. Danny, Danny, I've changed my mind. You can't go on that boat trip after all. Okay, next. As soon as we can gain, regain control, turn right around. As you can see, big old giraffe balls there. Head past him, up the big massive dustpan and brush. Whatever the hell that meant to be. And press the X button again there. Welcome to another cutscene. Because your parents shout at you. When are you old enough to really estimate the dangers of life? Andrew, I need your help. We need to get Danny back. And next! Finally, we just have one more, so again, turn directly around. Down here, once again, and then if we head towards the book, a couple of books. <laughs> On <laughs> just underneath the D we are. Mm, yeah. I don't want to be underneath the D. I don't want to be anywhere near the D. Or the P. Or the Q. I was talking about alphabets, by the way. Uh, just <laughs> interact with the chair, enjoy the cutscene, and job's done. That's all four items for this area done. I'd wanted to be a mother so badly. And it felt like such a personal longing. <laughs> How naive. Andrew, he's forgotten things, important things. Is that why I remember them? For the both of us? Right then, so what'll happen after every time you've collected four items, you pop them all down and you've unlocked the four achievements. If we just head to um, back past uh, old giraffe balls right there and lay on feet. And if we can, we can just jump up here. But basically, every time what's going to happen is this, this ball of light, or this whatever it is, uh, will appear. And all we have to do is just follow the light. No enemies are going to appear or anything like that. Literally, all you're doing is just following the light. It'll take around a couple of minutes. So, enjoy things. Wonder what the hell's going on. Maybe grab a drink or two. I don't know, maybe flick your nipple and see how that goes while you're doing this. I did and it hurt. That's why I don't do it again. Anyway, follow the light. I'm gonna shut up.
Top job, everyone. Woo! Woo-hoo! We have done it. So, we've gotten past the childhood phase of life now. What's going to happen should happen for you as well every single time. A new bit of dialogue's going to appear. Too late, too late, too late. Da! I mean, he seems very shouty when he does that. And he should always be appearing from the right, your right-hand side. Um, so he should always be appearing from there. Apologies if it is random, but I played this game a couple of times. And that was always the case there. So from the starting position, then we're going actually to the left. That's why I just went back from the position that we were. Head to the left, and then we're sort of uh, just going to keep hugging this rock for the time being. This big old boy. Nasty boy. Nasty. Jump down here and just head in between these rocks. So yeah, like I said, there's a lot of rocks and there's a lot of trees. So hopefully the environment, me telling you sort of where to go, you can sort of get your head around where the environment is. We are actually heading back to the house now. And as you can tell, you can probably walk through that water. Old Jesus boy. Hey Jesus, walk it through what there. So yes, hug this wall through the beautiful looking flowers and we are actually heading back to the old house. Where I got... I got... I'm sorry. I can't talk about it. I had an uncle. His his name was Uncle Bad Touch. For a reason. Uh, nope, just joking. Ha ha ha. We're just going through the house on the right hand side. And we are heading back past the house. Out of the back. Basically where the musical chairs were a little bit earlier on. But now there is... If we interact with these shoes, there's basically going to be a star. Now, what we need to do is not get him killed. Now, this red bit of blob, or this red mist right here, we need to actually just touch it. And that will get rid of it. If it touches the star, um, the puzzle will just restart, that's all. So, uh, touch three of these brick walls. And then another bit of red mist will appear. That, to me, sounds angry. I assume that's anger. Don't do what I've done and keep looking at the freaking uh, star there, because he comes from the right-hand side. And obviously, you know when the puzzle restarts, it'll just reset you back uh, at the very beginning there. So, uh, three brick walls again, and then just past this rock is going to be the next red mist. We will appear eventually. Where are you, buddy? Oh, there we go. There you go. Just coming out of the brick wall there. And there's going to be one more for this area. It is very easy enough, um, especially when you know where they're sort of coming from. And this time, he's going to come from directly right in front of us. I wish the red mist would stop coming in all directions, though, because that is sickening. And stop trying to come on my star. Come by my star. Stop trying to come on the star. Anyway, the star, or asterisk, or whatever, it's just going to smash all the brick walls, and that is going to get us the next item of requirement of what we are needing to require. You could have gone that fast earlier. That would have saved us a good couple of seconds, right? <laughs> So there we go then, we now have the, what looked like a backpack, and if we head slightly to the left there, you can see a whole bunch of balloons on a rock there. No, this isn't Kavos, this is still the Mysterious Island. <laughs> um, you know, for some reason people like sucking balloons, apparently that's a thing. All you got to do is just walk all around, uh, get, get, rid of, get, 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 get rid of all the balloons, until the next item appears. So that's job done then, another balloon we've got. Now again this area slightly confused me but where we need to go is actually there is a rock as we're going to see just right now, for some reason I really got confused in this island but it's this sort of darkened rock which kind of looks like it's a jagged couple of steps there. So find those rocks and <laughs> obviously still on the same bit that we were with the balloon and then just continue walking forward. For some reason I looked at the other three options a couple of times before realizing that was there, because that was silly of me. Um, this looks like black water, but it's actually just nothing, because we have the power. We are basically Aquaman, without the aqua or the man. Aren't we bloody good? Oh, too late. Too late. Too late. Where are you coming from, Spunky? Oh, oh hello, there you are. So again, this might happen, this won't happen at 
the exact same points for you. It may happen a little bit earlier. It may happen a little bit later. Of course, I hope you, you probably figured that out by now. But obviously, just in case you're thinking, why have I got further ahead or you're further ahead? Just in case. So to the right of where the rock was then, simply park your buns down on the chair. And this is basically a long cut scene where everyone leaves us. Up yours too. Thank you for leaving us. Jeez. Does anybody want to stay for some coffee or some some dessert or or maybe some late night spanking? No, just just me. No, oh, fan, fan. I'll do it by myself. Fine. So I will. And it was a great night was had by all. So once that little cutscene finishes and everyone leaves you to feel unloved as hell, pick up the item, whip out your compass again, obviously using the Y button, and then just head uh, to the left once again. And we're going to keep continuing up. Um, so left and up the hill, sort of past this tree there on the right hand side, go to the right and we're going to see this campfire, a little cutscene's going to play out, and that is next Itemos. Oh my bad, did I say cutscene? What I meant was little maze. So we are basically fire and we just have to collect stars on the way. So straight in front of us, and then slightly left and to the right immediately, that is where the next one is. And then if you go to the left... And just head straight on. Don't go right there. Just keep going straight on and then head to the left. And that is where the next star is. Then from here, just head to the right again. Head to the right and then head to the right. Just down there. Just down that um, sort of small alleyway or whatever you want to call it. Small little bit there. And then from here then, just head to the left. And this is where the exit is. So get out of there, man. You're going to die. So yeah, that bit can be slightly confusing, but you're not under a time limit or anything, a time limit or anything, so do not panic yourself. You can just stay in a blaze of glory all day. Nice. So, from here then, what we're going to do is just going to head straight back down the hill, uh, quite close to where the tables and chairs were, but we're actually heading to the beach now. As you can see, the brick walls are already there. Now, this is the same sort of puzzle that we did earlier with the footprints, only this time, what we need to do, if you uh, just collect it there, uh, click, click on the puzzle. Make sure to grab the stars, but the footprints cannot touch the walls, and you cannot touch the walls on the right-hand side either. So you need to be careful and just take your time. So none of you can touch the walls. If you do, the puzzle just resets, that is all. But make sure the footprints grab the stars, and you're not going to hit any of the brick walls yourself. Because you know that uh, many people have died from touching a brick wall, you know. If it's been riddled with, like... I don't know, <laughs> gonorrhea or something, and you had a specific, specific bad reaction to gonorrhea. I, I don't know. Do people put gonorrhea on walls? You tell me. I'm not an expert personally. Uh, but as soon as you collect the, the stars and this one right here, the next item <laughs> will appear, which is the candle. So we are coming. Uh, yeah, we are coming up to the point now where all we're doing is just putting the items down. And watching a whole bunch of cutscenes for everything. So we are coming close or closer to the end. So from there, what we're going to do is just head sort of to the left again, rolling around this rock. And we are just uh, sort of stay left. As you can see the water there, we're going to stay as left as we can. Because there is going to be another bunch of brick walls for us. And another whole lot of red mist that is going to descend and try and kill our star. But we are going to... We're going to fight back, we're going to come on him, and we're going to fight him back. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, you know, if the minor inconvenience didn't happen right here. This is the frustrating bit, actually. Wondering where he's coming from, but as soon as the sun goes down, as you can see, it's usually in the direction from what the sun goes down. Don't forget to pack your cholesterol pills. <laughs> Don't forget to bring it down! Sorry, that's what cholesterol pills reminded me of there. 
So this is the same sort of thing, obviously, as earlier, pick up the shoes. Now, be careful, I almost mess up twice here, but the first red mist is going to appear, after the first brick wall, is going to appear on the left. I get too far ahead of myself, so don't do that. Now, the next one, after the next brick wall, he's going to appear on the right-hand side. So just be vigilant, I just oh, I almost missed it there. So again, just making sure that he's still alive and kicking, which he is, so that's good for us. The third one there is, you can just see the rock on the left-hand side. He is just going to start appearing from there. may take a little while to appear, but once he does, remember, sticking that in him, son. Oosh! Get in there. Yeah, Cockney and... Oh, I'm hardcore and stuff. And then simply wait for the star to finish what he's doing and wait for the next item to appear. Come on, buddy, I haven't got all day. Come in, come in. That means when I'm kicking you, that means hurry up. If anyone gets the uh, first reference and the second reference there, South Park and The Simpsons. Yeah, yeah. I I enjoy a spittle of South Park and The Simpsons, you know. So finally, when he's hurried up, we can uh, grab the item and then turn to the right. And we're just going to start heading back through the trees. There's going to be a wheelchair in these trees right here, which... I'm currently searching for on the compass, but I can't find it, so you can shove it, Grandpa. So yeah, just in between these trees, again more towards the left-hand side, that is where you'll find the next wheelchair. And so for this puzzle then, all you got to do is turn around with the right stick. As soon as you see the light, like this one, just walk towards it. Do this a total of four times, and you die. <laughs> I'm joking, it's complete and we get the item. Ah, oh, yes. And this, me muckers, I believe is the last item that we need to collect. So we've collected the dirty, mangy old toothbrush with a pube from the wheelchair. Now who's brushing the teeth with pubes, be honest? Hmm? Was it you? <laughs> anyway, directly from around that, we are back at the bus area. And if we just head sort of to the left of the buses sorry it does get quite confusing left of the buses we're going to be putting the picnic table down first but this is what we're going to be doing now we're just going to be visiting the last three areas popping the items down doing the whole light thing and that's basically the end of the game there so yeah it's a nice one You already feel like an adult, and that never stops. It's just your age that changes. This can't be a memory. I was never here. All righty, righty, roommate. As soon as we're done here, soon we'll just turn around. <laughs> I'm so good at accents. Anyway, head towards the sort of left, in between the buses here, we are going to put on the Plantain Potten next and Pretty little flower. She's a delicate little flower. It's horrible. Everything just feels extremely important and extremely unimportant at the same time. Danny, I don't want you to die alone. Do you hear me? 
Nice, I hope you're tearing up at the emotion that this story provides. But from here, turn around, only slightly, just to the left a little bit. Go to the water, as you can see this little bit of water, hug the rock around. And directly in front of us is the next item to place, which is... Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum, a thing! Oh, oh, oh my god, it's a coffin. Oh my god, everyone's dying! Jesus Christ! I assume that wasn't uh, COVID related either. Hmm. Because everything's just COVID related these days. Got AIDS? That's COVID related. You got you got something lodged up your bum there? Oh, that's COVID related. Shouldn't have had COVID. Sorry, it's a serious moment. There we were again, two months later. Same church, same cemetery, smaller coffin. Are you reaching out to me? Mommy's here. Where are you? Wow, that was an extra long cutscene. I don't know if they were just trying to tell us something, like, uh, you know, or trying to make us feel the pain. <laughs> But a lot of us don't have hearts, so luckily we can get away with that. <laughs> so turn around, up the logs. This is where the final item is. This one, oh, it's a tent. Nice. Would he have been brazen, like Andrew? Or arrogant, like I was back then? What am I doing? This place is not real. What would Danny have been like as a teenager? I reckon he would have been off his nut, partying. Doo, 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 doo. He would be drunk all the time, having a great time, you know, as every teenager does, except for I'm just joking. Once again, then, just follow the light. Again, this is going to take a couple of minutes. Follow the light. Enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the stuff. And we will be back in a few.
Nice! So, there is the next achievement, youth. Oh god, I miss my youth. Ish. Uh, well, I, haven't, I still can't grow a proper beard, so yeah, I might as well just miss my youth. Anyway, head down the hill, sort of back towards the way we came there. Hugging the, again, right hand side of the rock. We are just nipping off to the next area now. Um, this is where the old uh, moldy bed and the old puby wheelchair is. So again, just keep headed down the rocks. You should be able to do that. And it's at this nice little area. Again, by the way, this game is absolutely stunning in, in the terms of scenery and the environment and everything. So you cannot fault it for that at all. Absolutely awesome. But, whap out the wheelchair, Grandad. Oh, Mr. Broken Legs. I have to readjust my life. Again. Limping, barely hanging on. Danny, Mommy's sorry. I can't save you. I can't. Okay then, so it's not just a simple case of Grandad's story. It's actually, once again, very sad. But anyway, head to the right, and then interact with the crustaceans of the bedness world. Andrew became my child, in a way. I couldn't let him out of my sight. It was too dangerous. I don't know why, but Andrew there looks like the kind of guy to laugh like this. <laughs> I am a brute. Does anyone actually really laugh like that? <laughs> I don't. I'm certainly no one ever does. Anyway, this is the next cutscene, of course. We've got two more items left to plopple down. As soon as Anna decides to stop yapping. I know you've had a lot of hard life on, I know, but... You know, we kind of need to just, uh, you know, get through it a little bit. Is that okay? Oh, thanks so much, honey. Right, turn around. We're going past the old um, Andrew's pubic wheelchair. And the obviously two items, you'll probably just see in the distance there, on the dock is the next item, which is, of course, the chair. Professional care. And I blame myself for it every day. Andrew's love kept me sane, but now his mind is gone, and... Ah, that's nice. Anyway, <laughs> enough of the niceties. Head slightly, ever so slightly to the left, and up onto this little area right here with all tables and chairs, and it's a table and chair. And he probably became distant because you stuck a finger in his bum without asking. Nobody likes that. 
right? Then I realized his behavior wasn't because of Danny. This was no delayed grief. This was something new. It's just me again. My mind. My memories. My history. And of course, you know what to do, honey. Follow that light. Follow that light. Follow their light, otherwise you gonna probably not die or anything, but the light will just stay there until you follow it, so might as well do it. So we've now got just one left to go as soon as this achievement unlocks. We've got a couple of items left to place and then we can fin the game. So once again, the um, <laughs> the trip is done. As you can see, just seeing the distance on the left hand side, you can see the eyeball coming to uh, get us again. So go basically back directly to, from where you came. We are obviously now heading towards the house. He's going to appear on the left hand side. There he is. There we go, no more Sauron from Wish instead of Amazon for us. That should now be the last time, which is lovely. And what we're going to do is just take a nice little walk. La 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 la. Losing our minds, wondering why there's a house and about six cars there. Yeah, walk through the water is fine this time. Apparently we're not scared of that much water. And just keep heading towards the house. Once again, if you do get lost or anything, just get out the alarm clock like I've done here, and that sort of shows you uh, which way towards the house. Um, probably should have mentioned that a few times earlier on if you get lost, use your compass, but... I mean, you know, that's what a compass is for, right? <laughs> right? Anyway, it is just the same situation. So, I mean, hopefully, you know, you've followed enough... Uh, you followed well enough with my guide anyway. Hopefully, hoping my helping hands have been, well, helpful. We just...
we worked through it, eventually. We were able to hold on to each other. I wanted to be a mother. Right, that's that one done. As soon as we do that, we can head to the left and then to the right. I wanted to be a mother, a wife. Me too, but I don't have the ovaries for it. So, just head to the left. Head to the right there, and on the table is the next book. Work, of course, that helped. We became one of those double income, no kids families. As if we'd chosen that life. It's time to forgive myself. All I did was live. And then when that achievement unlocks and we can move again, head to the left once more, and it's underneath this, whatever the hell this is right here. What I said was a petrol can is actually a backpack, so, you know, close enough, they got the same thing, right? Them for it. Stop crying over your child leaving home. At least he's still alive to bring you his laundry. Life happened. It happens to all of us. And then finally, 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 the last one is of course past the... I mean, this does look like a hell of a party. Three cars, one in the water, fence damaged everywhere. Yeah, nice. Head to the right here, and then this is the final one. It's a bunch of suitcases, and that is that. Now we've just got a bunch of light following to do. And that's more or less it. Care for your children till they're old enough, then care for your parents. All gone for us. So follow, follow, follow. Na 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 na. Way na 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 na. Follow, follow that, follow that, follow that, follow that biscuit, yeah, mm, yeah, follow it, etc, etc.
Very nice, very nice. That gets out the way. That that gets that bit of bush or whatever the hell that was out of the way. It clears the path for us. And we've only got one achievement left now, and that is for basically end of the game. So simply just interact with the dinghy. And then we've got one more tiny little section left to do. It's basically um, wraps up the game in a neat little package. So turn around, and what you can do is obviously just stay here, listen to the dialogue if you wanted to. Um, basically, Anna has a new relieved sense of life, as it were. But since we're not doing that, we're just going to collect all the stars, run to the end, and love our life. It was beautiful. Danny was our little miracle. He was given to us for just a short period. And there we go then, that will be it then, interact with the fireworks, and job is done. So, that was Lost at Sea, slash Stranded on Island, close enough. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching guys and gals, I do hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. I did thoroughly enjoy the game, to be fair. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend if you thought it was helpful. Don't forget, as well, to check me out on my socials, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon as well. And speaking of which, a big, huge, massive shout-out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel on there. I absolutely appreciate it all. Mega, mega, fantastic legends on there. And, well, that is that then, guys and gals. So, thank you once again. I shall see you in the next one. Beagle Lovell.